What's up, Lacey Chat? Your boy is back, and um, yeah, Bella, she is not cooperating right now, so she's like right here. I know y'all can see her shadow, but um, she might pop into the uh, camera, but uh, whatever. But anyways, what's up, Lacey Chat? Your boy is back. Um, today, I definitely, we don't have a drink of the night or the day or whatever, but I promise you guys, I promise, I promise, I promise, the next drink in my next Lacey Chat is going to be something amazing. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be very, very interesting. It's going to be major thinking food. But nevertheless, let's get right into it. to talk about with you guys and my viewers and my followers and all of that. Um, that's something serious that I want to be clear-minded and level-headed about when I speak about it. Um, and just to dive right into it, it's just like, have you, like, ever thought about just, like, damaged goods? And when I say damaged goods, I don't mean like products <laughs> like you go to the grocery store and buy something and it's damaged or um clothing at the mall you go buy that and it's that something wrong with it not damaged goods like that but just damaged goods um i was thinking about this um earlier and i was just like wow like you know some people are damaged goods <laughs> and it's not it's no disrespect to anybody and it's no you know um yeah it's no disrespect it's just some people are really out here damaged goods. Um, and when I say that, I mean they're a product of their past. And because they haven't let those things go, whatever it might be that happened in the past, they haven't let it go. They haven't survived it, in a sense. Or even something that's happened currently right now, they're being damaged. Like, whether it's in a relationship, they're being damaged in any aspect, in any sense in life they're they're damaged um and i feel like it's such a sad sad thing because um everybody has the power to overcome any and everything nothing can tie you down unless you are allowing yourself to be tied down um and then forgiveness starts with yourself and being able to let go that starts with yourself as well what prompted me to talk about this is just simply because of just the stuff that I see on a regular, like not even in my own personal life. Um, however, I do feel like certain events and things that I have been through childhood into adulthood, um, certain events and situations that I've been in definitely put me in a path to be a damaged person and to take my happiness away and take my sunshine away in a sense but I didn't allow that to happen. Um, you know, a lot of people definitely let things happen to them and harvest it and never let it go. And here's why that's a problem. It's a problem because it starts to tarnish that person's mindset. After it tarnishes their mindset, then this person start looking at the world differently or in a way that they shouldn't in a sense of say you meet somebody in a user to me a user is somebody that's been damaged that means to me if somebody is a user that means to me that something has happened to this person or somebody has used this person to make them want to be this way or they have to feel like they have to get what they need out of this person that person for some sick reason because nobody sane is a user like, I'm just going to be real about it. Um, secondly, um, somebody who can just lie competitively to you. Just like somebody who's been through a lot of lying. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> My mother, she can't be a liar. Let's just be clear. My mother definitely can be a liar. That's one thing I definitely pray constantly about, especially in my adulthood. Like, because I don't want to be that way. You know what I'm saying? But it's a perfect example of... Something had to happen to my mother to make her the way that she is. Because even as currently, you know what I'm saying? She's that way. Um, a lot of people say, oh, no, because she's a Capricorn. Because I say that all the time. I was like, oh, she's a Capricorn. She's just, Capricorns are all liars. But uh, we'll get into that another uh, Lacey chat. But to stay on task, it's just like, like I said, like, it, store, it stems for, from somewhere. And I feel like the problem is, it never got fixed. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've definitely come across people who are damaged. And it's so crazy because 
the damaged people are the, I want to say, some of the most appealing people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially to the eye. Like, these people are appealing. Like, they're, they'll draw you in. They'll make you want to, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, they'll draw you in. These people are more appealing and stuff like that, like myself. But I'm just amazing. We'll get into that later. But, <laughs> yeah, these people are more, for the most time, most of the part, are always appealing these damaged individuals. And when I get to know these people, well, when I got to know the people that I came in across who are damaged, I end up basically not liking the person that they are. Like, let's just be completely 100% honest. I didn't like who they are. I didn't like the type of person that they were internally because in it's internally something was messed up and you know it's so sad to me because a person like me who who i feel like is a blessing when i come into somebody's life and i'm not even tooting my own horn i'm just like for the most part i'm like this very positive thinking type person i'm like really funny i'm really play playful um and once again from where i come from or the things that i've been through like my close friends like which is another Lacey chat that's going to be dropping real soon. My close friends, they have been there for me for every major thing in my life. I'm talking especially from high school until now. Every major situation, my friends were there for me. And they know. <laughs> I was, I was kind of, in a sense, being made up for a recipe of disaster. But at the same time, I like I said, I didn't let that happen. But I don't want to like make it seem like what I went through was like horrific or anything like that because I always like to say like you know it's somebody out there that's going through something completely worse than whatever I I thought I was going through. You know what I'm saying? It's not that it, like you know what I'm saying? Like I've read stories on social media, I've seen the news, I've seen a lot of things. Like people go through some horrible, horrible stuff. Just like recently, they just dropped this R. Kelly stuff and. My life was nowhere near like that, like like not even close. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say that I haven't been through anything because I would be lying. But like I said, you know, I've I've run across people who 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 has the potential to be so beautiful, like just so beautiful spirited. And the sad part is is they're so stuck in their own way and so caught up in what happened and what has happened that they're not even allowing themselves to go anywhere. Like, they're just stuck. And and that's the sad part to me. Like, they're really, really stuck. Like, and I hate to see somebody that's stuck in their own way because it's like, they don't, people like that, they don't realize how they push people away and push opportunities away. You know what I'm saying? Um, God works in mysterious ways and like I was saying, my pastor, he just recently said, like, um, on Sunday, you can harvest all of this. You can, like, you know what I'm saying? You can harvest it. But what this person t did to you, your ex, your mother, your father, your cousin, your brother, your uncle, your best friend, your associate, whoever. Whatever they did to you, they did it. Whether you like it or not, they did it. And lastly they're living their life <laughs> they're living their life they're not worried about you they're not thinking about you they don't even care about the situation anymore period which i can understand why that would make a person damaged but you yourself you have to be strong enough to say you know what i'm not going to allow that for me like i'm not going to be this damaged person i'm not going to walk around messed up like that because you're really messed up when you're a damaged person um because I know I like around high school, like I was in a, I was in the makings to be damaged, but I was just going through so much. And I praise God for having my best friends and the friends that I had um, at times, best friends or not. You know, I had people who cared about me. And once again, like, you know, that's just my spirit. And that's just how what I project into the world. Like I draw people to me, like people draw to me like roaches on boneless wings on the floor like seriously and ants on the f floor with a popsicle like people i draw people into me and which is i feel like is a blessing but 
I just couldn't imagine how if I was one of these people, like, you know what I'm saying? Just these angry people, like, people that's so quick to be angry. I'm not one of those people. It's people so quick to be confrontational and argue with somebody. I'm not that person. Like, that's not me. Will I argue? Yes. Would I read you? Yes, I will. Will I cuss you the hell out? Yes, I will. I'm not saying that. But it's a build-up type situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I remember my best friend, Jasmine, her mother one day, um, it was me, her, and her mom in the car. And it was a situation that had happened. And I remember that she said, hurt people hurt people. And I will never forget that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's the definite truth. And I know a lot of times, especially in some relationships that I've been in, um, I've dealt with hurt people. These people are hurt and I come in their lives and think like, okay, time to clean up. <laughs> Let's fix this up. This, this is a fixer upper. And the end result is pretty much always the same. These people don't want their want the help. They that's just the reality. You can't help these people. Like hurt people, hurt people. And at the end of the day, these people are not looking for someone to help them and build them back up. If that was the case, they wouldn't be the way that they are when they meet you. And I had to learn that the hard way. I don't look walk into situations like, okay, if this person got all this baggage or all these needs or this attitude problem or um, these insecurities or this, that, this, that, this, that, I'm cool. Even with friendships, I'm cool. I don't want, I don't want a relationship like that with somebody because it's something wrong there that that person needs to fix themselves on their own, on their spare own time. This is a, this is an internal issue that needs to be fixed. And there's nothing that Lacey can do about this situation. And for those who are watching, there's nothing that you can do about their situation at all, regardless how much you love this person and all of that. And that's another thing I want to let you guys know. is nothing wrong with loving somebody who's damaged. However, it's something wrong with you when you decide to say, you know what? Let me stick this out. Let's let's see what's, where this is going to go. Because the moral of the story is, now that damaged person is going to damage you. And it's like, do you really want that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're not a strong enough person to be able to rebuild yourself back up after something like that happens. Like, and to be honest, like, any hurt person that I've ever met and had any interaction with, like, they destroy everything that they touch. And it's not, it's not even just like some, like, Oh, I experienced it. Like, everybody knows somebody that destroyed everything that they touch. Like, every single thing that they touch, get into, destroy it. So, what do you think is going to happen to you when they come into your life? They're going to destroy you. And if you're not strong enough to get, to build yourself back up, it's over with. And I just want you guys to be aware. And even if you are one of those people and you're watching, if you're one of those damaged people and you haven't overcome your trial or overcome your past or your current situation right now, this is not bashing you. It's just to let you know that you should probably do some internal working on yourself to better yourself because, you know, it's really sad. Like, people push people away every single day not even knowing it. You know what I'm saying? And then the sad and sick part is the people who are damaged – always blame it on the other person. Like, it's so crazy. I never, I, I never seen nothing like it in my life. And it's sick to me. Like, it's, it's really sick to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? And once again, if, if I'm offended somebody, I absolutely apologize. But at the end of the day, this is my opinion. It's really sick to me that you can be dead ass wrong and still look in the mirror and blame somebody else. Like, look in the mirror and be content and be okay with what you've done to somebody, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the case may be. And I always tell people all the time, I always tell people, apologies are free. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I have to apologize, I'll apologize to somebody. Like, even in certain situations, I have gotten into it with somebody, and I'll call one of my friends, or I'll call somebody and be like, you know what? Was I wrong in this situation? Because if I was wrong, I would apologize. Even with my best friends, like my, me and my best friend, Mike, we... We've got into it and 
I'll be like, okay, well, let's add a third party. And the reason why I believe in third adding a third party is just because this person ha is going to have an unbiased answer. This person is going to be able to see through what you and this other person isn't seeing. So with this third party, I feel like most of the time you can get to the bottom of the solution and stuff can dissolve the way it's supposed to. I've even had situations with my best friend Tay Tay too with stuff like that, but she didn't really like the third party thing. But I, but it was just like, if I'm tripping and then also I'm the type of person, I don't want you to think like, oh, I'm just talking about you behind your back or spilling. And it's not just with my friends, like family members, all of that. Like, I just like to, you know what I'm saying? Reinsure that if I'm tripping, I will apologize. Just like to this day, my brother and I, we don't speak like, you know what I'm saying? However, I love him to death, which is going to be another Lacey chat. Not about my brother, but more so about loving somebody. But I love him to death. We don't speak. We haven't spoken almost a year. But that's okay with me because at the end of the day, being completely brutally honest, I don't like the person that the type of person that he is. Like, I feel like he has inner core issues that is beyond our little small beef. And at the end of the day, it's just like, whatever. I still love my brother to death to pieces but i just you know it 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 never does like we'll be cool then we won't be cool then we will be cool then we won't be cool and it's like and it's been like that and i'm only 24 so if our relationship been like that for a long time <laughs> what's the issue like what's really the problem you know what i'm saying because four years ago i was a teenager in high school you know what i'm saying he's six years older than me but either nevertheless you know what i'm saying i love him to death and like I said, I just don't like the person that he is in the inside of him. Like, or whatever he has going on in the, internally, I don't like that person. And, you know, it is what it is. And when you love somebody, like, I don't just say the word love to anybody. Like, pe plenty of times people say, oh, yeah, Lacey, I love you. And I'd be like, oh, thanks. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't just tell people I love them to say I love them or because they said they love me. Like, through the good and the bad, through the worst and the ugly... I'm still going to love this person because I, I genuinely do. Anybody that can, like, you can get into it with, and I won't go too much further in this because, like I said, this is another lazy chat. Anybody that can, if you fall out with somebody and that person's like, oh, I don't let that motherfucker fuck them, even including exes, exes that did you dirty, put you through hell, put, your, put their hands on you, beat the dog shit out of you, stole from you, all of that had a baby, left you with the baby, all of that. If you cannot say you still love that gentleman or that woman, it was never real to begin with. And I'm going to leave that right there. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I've i dealt with people who I felt are hurt, in my opinion. I, it's my opinion. I'm entitled. I'm allowed to have my own opinion. And, yeah. I just think that a lot of people need, I don't even know if I would say counseling because who knows? I've, I've been to counsel, like relationship counseling. I've never been like when, when I was with a, in a relationship with somebody and we went to counseling. But to be completely honest, that didn't even really work. <laughs> but I'm not going to say all counseling doesn't work, especially individually, because I've never been. But every everybody needs somebody to talk to. And counseling doesn't even mean you have to go to somebody's office and sit in a chair and they write down all your feelings or write whatever they da writing down in that pad and notebook. Um, counseling can be your friends. Like, I tell my friends all the time, and it's, I know it's, it may be sad, but to me, it's, it's my reality. And I used to be sad about it, which would be another Lacey chat. Um, yeah, my best friends and my friends are the closest thing to me. And it's sad because I have family on my father's side and my mother's side that resides in the same city that I live in. You know what I'm saying? And nobody speaks to each other. You know what I'm saying? And it's so sad. Like, I remember around... And here's another damaging situation and damaging moment that I overcame. But, I like, I remember, like, for holidays, like, even this holiday, like, that just passed Christmas and all of that. Um, I used to be so sad, not recently, but like, I want to say like my teenage years, something around there, teenage, early adulthood, like 19 type situation. I used to be so sad. I used to be so, so sad. Not about gifts and monies and stuff like that, because I've always gotten those. 
But it just make me sad that sometimes that like my family on both sides, not just Lacey or Cannon, on both sides of my family is so tore down and so messed up and everybody is so damaged about little things or big things that nobody can come together. Like no family dinners, no gift giving, no nothing. I literally see my family at funerals or funerals. It's sick. It's sick. <laughs> like, and it's, it's really sick to me. And it's just a result of the family being damaged. And it's just being completely honest. My family on both sides are damaged. And also, even if there is not a reason why they're beefing or something, it's just they don't. we don't even know how to communicate with each other. And it's something that I struggle with still to this day. Like, you know what I'm saying? I live in the same city with my mother, my brother, my cousins on my father's side. Uh, my aunties, all of that. And you would think that we all lived in LA, New York, Cal, like just all over the place. And we don't even all even talk on a day-to-day -day basis. Like not even once a week type stuff. It's like literally we all talk to each other when it's like, oh, somebody passed away. Y'all going to the funeral or, you know what I'm saying? Or somebody in the hospital, y'all going, it's like, wow, really? That's really messed up. You know what I'm saying? However, it is a select few, like my cousins on my father's side, you know, we chill on our own, but, you know, it's only about, like, five, six of us or less. On my mother's side, nobody hangs out. <laughs> like, absolutely nobody. I don't even remember the last time I seen my cousins or, you know what I'm saying, my little cousins that's coming up. And they're going to grow up not knowing their older cousins and stuff. And that's, and that's just a cycle that's going to continue of damage. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I don't know about their father's. And whatever like their relationship with their fathers and stuff but however that's just going to continue a cycle of being damaged like you know what i'm saying like okay but i thank god i was able to survive that because i used to literally be depressed like i was depressed and that was something that could have damaged me and like you know what i'm saying i'm in a relationship with somebody who family is like big on being around each other and big on being around each other for holidays like you know what i'm saying coming from where i come from that could have easily made me feel some type of way and I could have easily resented that, especially because he likes to be around his family. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm around his family a lot, but instead of like resenting him or being jealous or anything like that, what I did was I made my own family and I think that's what a lot of people, I know I might be getting on original topic, but I, I think that's the beauty of things because us as people, we are able to make our own family. Like you can meet somebody that you click with, y'all can be friends with, friends with each other for years and this is your new family member i have situations like that most of my best friends i don't even think that, like me and my best friend mike we were just talking the other day we was like bitch we not even best friends no more like we literally been friends for so long we didn't met each other parents all this and that cool with each other parents we're not friends anymore we're, we're brothers and I, of course me i was like oh yeah we're sisters i got a sister I just said, but seriously, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, we're sisters. Like, you know what I'm saying? Me and my best friend, Tay Tay, I call her my ma. Like, me me and her been friends for so long. We're related. We're, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Lacey. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Tay Tay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just like my best friend at one point, Taylor. I called her mother ma. Like, we've been friends for, uh, since 1948. Come on now. We're we're friends. Even my friend Sierra at one point. Her mom, hey mom, we're family. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. And those are the people that, well, first you have to trust these people before you open up to them about your business. But you know what I'm saying? Those are the people that you need to vent to and get that emotional support that you need so you don't end up being damaged. So I guess that did ended up being exactly what I was talking about. You go, bitch. <laughs> But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, most of the time, those are the people that can help you to not be these damaged goods. Like you should not, you should not, if you're watching this video and once again, like I said, it's not, I'm not bashing anybody, but I just feel like somebody needs to hear this. It needs to be said. Somebody needs to say it. And if you are a person that is damaged, like just be true to yourself. Like literally look in the mirror. Like I learned, like if you can't look in the mirror for 10 seconds, just stare like I'm staring at this camera. Just stare at yourself for 10 seconds. And you have to shy away. 
something is wrong with the inside of you. Like seriously, and it's not like if, if you have to shy away or look away or you can't really give yourself eye contact and just look at yourself and just, you know, it's something wrong. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you should, you should work on it. Like seriously, it's time because the only thing you're doing is slowing down your process and moving on to life. You're not, you're never going to get too far. I'm not going to say you're not going to get far at all, but you're not going to get too far because whatever you're harvesting and holding on to is going to come right back up. It's going to pop right back up. No, no matter how far you try to dig it away, dig, dig, dig and hide it, it's going to come creeping back up. No matter how far in the back of the closet you try to push it and hot clothes over it and hot cars over it, hot money over it, it's going to pop back up. And with that being said, I love you guys here at Lacey Chat. <laughs> Honestly, I do. <laughs> um, and yeah, like I said, this is just good thinking food. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for your boy. And share with a friend, of course. And to just wrap this up, let me get back to her. And to wrap this back up, um, yeah, I got a really, really special surprise for you guys coming up. It's like, y'all do this. <laughs> y'all do this. <laughs> no, but yeah, seriously, I got a really, really big surprise with you guys. I don't know. I'm going to just, you know, speak it into existence right now. I'm not having just one co-host. I'm not having two co-hosts. I think it might be three with a delicious good drink. So, like I said, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, your boy Lacey is signing.